some mug templates for the dye sublimation printing of mugs and we're going to use Coral Draw which is a program that I use a lot and I like very much and I find it fairly easy and then we're going to take it all the way through to print settings um, using an Epsom WF 3010DW so let's have a go here new file new an A4 and if you take a look at the grid here, you've got zero corresponding to there here, and you've got zero corresponding to the bottom. Now a mug just requires that you split a page equally into three. So there will be our first on the 100 point. There would be our second ish on the 200 point. There we go, simple template. Now let's start filling it in. Let's import some content. So we want a picture, file, import, and let's go over to pictures and project pics, and there we go. Now I have already resized these images at 75 millimeters in height. There's one. Let's put some text in. No biggie. Um, I'm a cutie. So please buy me. for any graphic design awards on this just to show you how to do the thing there we go something like that that looks a bit bland actually so let's go against what I said and find a decent font fill, what do you think, nice brown colour to go with Rosie the Beagle, something as simple as that, as you can see I've positioned it centrally within the template that we've made, so let's import a couple of more images and let's complete that template. And as you can hear, Rosie the dog is winding us all up. The little mare. Import. Come from the project file. Here we go. And here we go. Oh, I really sized that well, didn't I? There's one way out of it. I'm going to claim I did that deliberately just to show you an alternate method, but I didn't. Control C, Control V, Shift. There we go. You may want to change that color. Um, what do you think? <sighs> Never was my strong point in this stuff. Okay, there we go, we got a brown one. So let's do the last template. So we go file and we're going to import and we're going to import that sound. These images, by the way, were sent to us from one of our customers and we don't use them. It's just that I 
thought they were ideal to do a tutorial with. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So, Control C, Control V, drop it down. Oh, what have we got here? Um, let's look at the color. Uniform fill. Oh, should we do something absurd? Orange. There we go. Yeah, as I say, we're not out for any design awards. So, there we go. We've got our E4 sheet splitting to three. We've got the image on. We've got a little message on. So, let's get it printed. So, it's a case of file. Print setup. It's selected the right printer here. Let's go into preferences. And we're going to pull the paper from the cassette. It is an A4, but what we want here is matte coated and high quality. Go on to the More Options tab. Automatic, automatic is great. We want high speed and we want mirror image. And that is basically that. So now we can go OK. We can go OK. We can go File. And we can go print. No point changing anything there, we've already dealt with it. So, let's send it off to print. And there you are. That's how you come up with a template. You import your images into it, put a little message, and you set it up on the printer and you get it printed out. Thank you for watching.